Alright, this episode we're continuing to clean up loose ends here in Novigrad. I'm noticing this quest, it says quest available right here. Like, there's just two exclamation points just kind of floating in the middle of this building. I was about to go talk to this supervisor for this other other thing, but now I want to know what's going on over here. Is this a familiar building? I feel like this might be a place I've been to before. Oh, yeah. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh. I just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Oh, that's unexpected. We're having us a, uh, a Gwent-related quest. Level 12, okay. Just making sure I'm not going to stumble into something major. Uh, I might as well investigate what else is in here, too. Is truly what you want? To be a purveyor of cheap whores and watered down wine? I'd give you hey, a discount. I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what well, you do with that. I know! I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Black ones, Rodanians. Oh, you're always like play. considering. Hit. If there's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. What's that? What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. 
I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help a little friend out. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say: fastest way to lose a friend is to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania, and Daddy dear would never refuse his daughter dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return. Knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know the kind they use during performances. Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish, but I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but Geralt, the only buts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work. You'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh yeah, I trust him. This will go great. He's not someone that has terrible ideas so far. Uh, Cabaret 14. Cool. So these are these are both uh, quests related to characters we're, we've already established, so they're they're fun to follow up on. What's he schemed up this time? And they're not outside my level range for any particular reason, so I can I can feel confident in just going after them. Although this Gwent one could be a problem if I have to, if I have to play for a card or something, because I don't have the, necessarily the best deck. I also still look at it with Rosh and the whole Priscilla situation with Radovid and everything. We have a lot of stuff to do just with the established like uh, secondary characters, let alone actual side quests to stuff with with obscure random people. Locked. It looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Got to find another way in. Find a way into Zed's home. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Acceptable thing to do in modern society. Let's just find a way to sneak into his house. That's fine, right? Well, well, freak. <laughs> Let's see. Presumably, there must be a, like a back way in. Maybe I can climb this and then jump across or something. Oh yeah, this looks like it's intend intended for this quest. Maybe I can get into the roof. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost fucked that up. Hello. Not- this isn't creepy, right? This is what normal people do? Oh, he's dead. Well, that'll make the easy- that'll make the cards easy to get if they still have him, but I get the feeling it's not that easy. Must be Zed. That's all you have to say? No to tell about, like, the cards being around. The last wish. Oh, a document? Oh, nope. Can't read the book. Thought that might be relevant to the investigation. Alright, well, what's downstairs? His murderers, maybe? Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Ism Grim card. Greetings. 
Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Howdy, y'all. Just gonna ruin you two real quick. Really hope this doesn't burn the car. That'd be awkward. <sighs> Novograd sucks. Why does anyone live here? Everyone's garbage. It's just full of terrible people. That was hilarious, by the way, how easy how easily that was taken care of. Alright. Grim now we look at something on the square tail deck. Ledger might be worth something worth. They desperately need to patch the part where he talks over himself. They were looking for something. Let's see. So we might want to look for this ledger they're talking about. Give us information about where the current whereabouts of these cards might be. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. That's all I get from that? They were looking for something. It's over here. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Sounds like a good plan. Oh yeah. Ledger of Income and Outlays. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Alright. So just a quick trip back to Zoltan then. Relatively straightforward. Let's go ahead and while we're at it though, since I'm already out of the house, let's look into uh Cabaret. Go find this prop sword to borrow. And then I can return I can return with both things at the same time. It's a safe way to walk around, right? Just go randomly sprinting and vaulting over things. I do realize I'm walking directly past the uh the rosemary in time, so it's kind of pointless for me to not just stop by, but I like the idea of doing both of their objectives at once and then coming by and uh, after that. I get the feeling it'll get messier after that, though. Alright, just right across, the, right across from the uh, canal. They definitely set things up in a way where it's, act it's surprisingly easy to get around in such a cumbersome looking area. Ooh! That texture pop was unfortunate. <laughs> Where's this prop sword? Oh, must have to go up through this fence. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. What happened? Someone dead around here? It's far safer with Don't know who you're looking for, but you won't find it. There she is. Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. That's an age-old trick that a lot of Bioware games use. If you don't show the item on screen, you don't have to load a model for it. And it reduces the chance that some sort of performance hitch is going to happen in, in the middle of your fight. Oh, I'm supposed to meet Dandelion by Sophronia's house after duck, dusk. Well, that kind of ruins my whole plan. I was planning on meeting them both at the Rosemary in time. In between. Hey guys, don't mind me. Just taking the short path out. <laughs> I figured I would just meet with both of them. Let's see, can I, can I travel to someone somewhere closer? Or am I losing time by even looking? Figured I'd just go visit them all. Oh, no. No fast travel spots. I thought I'd just visit them both at once and just have a multi-stage parallel quest. But it looks like I have to diverge. So I guess we'll be revisiting Zoltan later. When do I get a Dandelion card? I got a Zoltan card pretty quickly. Is, I wonder if Dandelion even has a card. Conspicuous that there's this trading card game in the middle of this universe that has like the same... All the same characters as my character's life does. Let's see, after dusk, 9... uh, 10 p.m. Just to be safe on the game's definition. Ah, finally made it! Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? 
I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andrew Mask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. On guard! Owie. You're better than I thought. It hurts. Oh no, he's dangerous. Everyone watch out for the Crimson Avenger. Oh no. Look how dangerous the Crimson Ow Avenger is. Oh no. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. That's not true. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Well, that happened. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go meet with, uh, our friend Zoltan while he makes sweet love to the princess, is I'm sure what's gonna happen here. He did say, he, he did say meet me in the morning. I'm sure that's part of his plan. I have no idea if I was saying the right things during that quest because I wasn't reading from the card, but at the same time, I suspected that if I read from the card that that might get revealed and that could also blow the thing. Or maybe there's no way to blow this blow the situation, who knows? Well, we probably blow it if I if I kill Dandelion, but you know. Zoltan. Get out. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand the city's walls are high, its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. About those cards... You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> The sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Zed's. I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ravi... Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. 
Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Who's Caesar Bilzin? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well... Good luck to you, Geralt. All right, I think things are the things are updating. Which one's closer right now? Looks like the first thing to go is going to be to meet Zoltan in front of Caesar's house, just because it's closer than uh, than the Ravik one is. So we might as well go for that for now. Nope, oh, did not take the short path. Oh well, we the game almost crashed right there, didn't it? <laughs> Holy crap! That was a hell of a lockup. Can I climb out of here? Oh no, can I not climb out of here? That, that, that My plan did not account for this. <laughs> All right, Zoltan, let's see what we can get done around here while we wait for, uh, for Dandelion to proceed with his own plans. Can I talk to you? There we go. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. And certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said so Caesar never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. You won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Shivi! She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, well, you see, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Oh, him. Oh, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta! You betcha! <laughs> Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the Zanders and eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently. I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Happened to like Xander. Because you're a witcher. 
What are you shoving them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Belvin had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. Well, going outside of their line of sight, or I mean their range of audio. Slaughter of Zintra. Trying to find the uh, the card. There's the bottle. It's probably I probably need to bring that back. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. That's peculiar. Drawer is open. Hmm. It's magic. So there's a triangular key. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Seems straightforward to me. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. For when you don't want to come up with more ideas, just use the secret door thing again. Is this the door? I didn't actually see it. I actually didn't quite see it move. Is there a whole floor up here? Oh yeah. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Should I be taking things? There's two of them? Am I in trouble for taking these things? Oh, uh, there we go. Here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim de Vet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Money! Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. If I'm already committed to stealing, I might as well get something worthwhile out of this. Though I suspect that some of these, uh, golden necklaces and stuff might be a little bit more valuable than the, uh... Wit of a man. Ooh. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. We actually got a new quest out of this? That's not what I expected at all. Soldier Statuette, level 14. We'll have to look into that. Water... A casket here? Weird. Maybe they use the word casket differently than I do, because I think of it as the thing that you put bodies in. Which is a little concerning. Anyway, we got the card. Let's get out of here. Before someone actually catches me or something, although I don't know if they'd be able to do much about it. At this point. Nice razors you got there. Everyone says that to me. I'm starting to think they don't they're not talking about Are they saying I need to shave? Oh my god. It's growing back a little bit. And I'm getting like a funny goatee look. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already. Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. With a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to you, lads. Haven't you got all day? You've made a terrible mistake. You've made a terrible mistake. 
<laughs> it's never not funny to me. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Well, I suppose that loose end kind of tied itself up, didn't it? Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vett's skull. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. The rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by her house when I get a chance. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Alright, is it the morning yet? Oh, 2 a.m. Let's go ahead and skip to uh, the actual morning. Might as well see if we can meet with Dandelion now. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gerald, you've known him longer. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage, and Cabaret's a former theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do the theatre decor. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. 
God give you a discount as I plan. Oh, Dandelion, you're leaving us hanging here. All right, that's going to be how I wrap up the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, like always. I'll see you next time, where we're going to finish both the cabaret and uh, whatever the card quest was called. I, heard, I actually forgot. Whoops.